Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly reading with me Adrian H. Nelson of Ancient Great Life and um, we're looking at love. Um, so this is a general guidance reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for love. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Adrian, I'm a psychic medium, holistic wellness practitioner, living Cape Town. And um, yeah, I've got a weekly reading coming up. So if it resonates with you, more than welcome to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get a weekly reading from me. Um, and oh, your card's falling right out there. We're going to look what it is. I don't know, see. I'm going to look after the reading. Um, okay, so I'm going to put it there so I don't forget. There we go. Lovely. So we're going to end your reading off with that card. And we're going to see what we got. So if you want to have a personal detailed reading, though, 12 US dollars for a 30 minutes downloadable reading that I sent to you. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I, I, I like to post motivation on Instagram and, you know, I also go live on Facebook where I draw like single cards. So if you want to like connect with me and say hi and you know, I draw a card specifically for you, then you're more than welcome to align there. Okay, so I'm just drawing cards for you while I'm speaking. This is a beautiful, huh, love this. Okay. So you, you're getting over some hurt, you're getting over some pain, you're moving into a very powerful situation here. Wow. Okay, so let's put this down here. And I just want to share something with you that I was speaking to my best friend. Um, I am blessed to have had a bestie for many, many years. And I was speaking to my best friend and um, I was once again reminded about life Life is a symbiosis. Life is a process where we all work together. And, you know, I had such a profound realization a couple of weeks ago that sometimes you have to love and appreciate, you know, family members, friends, partners for what they bring to the table. You know, and um, sometimes you'll say, but, you know, they only brought, they, they only brought a salt shaker. They didn't bring anything else. But if you think about it, you can have the most beautiful table layout with those beautiful um, centerpieces and whatever, and cutlery and meals and whatever. But if there's no salt added then yeah, that, that meal's a bit like, you know, nye -nye. Um, so sometimes we have to appreciate people for what they bring to the table. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I think from time to time, we can all do with some of these reminders about life. And I like to share this you know, epiphanies and reminders and things that I come across because life is an experience where we learn how to, you know, how to to do it better, you know. Um, I was saying to one of my um, NLP um, life coaching, sort of, what do you call them, clients, <laughs> you know, that I had an online um, consultation with and I was saying that, you know, this is the thing about life, that with life you need to um, you need to kind of figure out who you are. Who are you? What is your contribution to this world? Um, and within yourself, who are you? So that you can connect with your heart space and, you know, bring your own true light to this world. So many times we try to um, sort of bring a different light to the world. I saw like flashy flashes over there now. Suppose... Um, the, you know, my spiritual team, they're like, get on with it. Can we start now? So let's get started. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, let's see what we've got. So first of all, um, uh, nine of ones there for you. And oh yeah, I just want to let you all know that, um, I think my neighbors are renovating or something. So if at some point you suddenly are like trolling or banging or anything like that, I do apologize for that. Okay. All right. Um, so the nine of wands, I think I know where that is going, but let us clarify first. Because there's, um, there's, there's a, oh yes, rebalancing. There's some healing taking place here. Mm -hmm. Spot on. Spot on. So we've got the two of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the three of swords. Okay. And I love this. It's not, it's it's emotionally, I feel that you're healing, that you're moving to a next step, that there could be some really powerful changes happening in your life, you know, um, even physically out, outside of love or with love. It's like you're going to this next level and this could be, um, 
that you are moving or some sudden changes but um, I feel that you've been doing very um, deep sort of inner work okay and there might be some pain over there um, so th there's something that sort of overshadows your experience of life in general okay overall this is in love this is in all other experiences something is sort of no matter how good things are going there is that something okay which always seems to sort of um boomerang things a little bit for you you know um that you kind of keep on coming back to the same point because that healing is possible now i feel that this you, you might be in a stage what people often refer to as the dark night of the soul or, you know, sort of, but, but I, it's like I can see you climbing out of this like a, like, like a, uh, it's not really like a pit, um, but it's like a darker space, almost like up a hill really. Um, and it might be a part of the hill where there's not always so much light, you know, so there might be like scorpions and all those type of things. Um, but you're kind of getting out of there, you're getting out of that space and you're getting more towards a space where you can be on the mountaintop and you can not only, um, you know, know about the light, but you can experience the light profoundly and beautifully for yourself. Um, I do feel that there might have been some betrayal there in your life. Um, uh, maybe somebody's hurt you, you know, hurt your feelings, hurt your emotions. Somehow you're feeling betrayed with something and that in itself... Um, is having a direct effect on almost all your decision making which obviously is gonna um you know reflect in your in your love situation but but you see you're doing the you're healing there you're getting the healing over there you're coming out of the situation you are beautifully beautifully coming out of the situation all right i just keep on seeing these beautiful cards for you wow you are healing and that is that that is a beautiful thing you are um you know when there's pain in life we obviously nobody wants to have pain i mean no you know <laughs> in general nobody really wants to but you can always learn something from it there's always a lesson that you can learn from it and you're getting there so it's almost like you might have been on the one side of the coin but now you're flipping it and you're getting to see okay how do i change this into uh, you know like a platform of strength okay right so in your current situation um there's the ace of swords again that is actually crossed by so the ace of swords crossed by the king of cups so, and we also had the ace of swords that was clarifying in your you know in your overall energy so um you i feel that you got to a point where you got tired of the pain you just didn't want to be in the situation where things were not working out anymore you didn't want to be there you were not prepared to be there anymore you were like i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do this i'm tired of it you know i want to move on from it and inside there can be really be a very deep feeling of um of heaviness of uncertainty um i do also feel loneliness even if you are in a relationship or if you are with someone there could be a very deep sense of um of, of loneliness almost like you're a loner but what is beautiful is that you are coming out of that situation you know you are finding the strength within the situation you are finding the lesson within the situation which might have been coming probably for most of your life but you're kind of getting to the space where it's like you're placing some distance between yourself and the situation and something that I love to do, and I'm going to share it with you, I may have shared it on previous videos or you may have seen it on one of my other videos. Um, but this is something that I do in my personal life as well, and it works really, really well. I always do it with my regression hypnosis clients also, is that um, it's a breathing technique. So it's an ancient Hawaiian breathing technique, but I added to it. Okay, so um, you can use any period, but for this, I used the last year. And you think of all the things that worked out in the last year in your life, the people that you met, you know, the love or the beautiful moments or, or whatever, you got a nice coffee, whatever it is, okay? Um, as you breathe in, you so you breathe in one, two, into your heart space, and then as you breathe out, you go like, sa, okay? And what you do is when you when you breathe out, you go that, sa, letting go, um, then kind of like all those things that didn't work out in the last year or whatever period it may be you you're not attacking it you're just willing to play some space between you and the situation okay so you go into the surrender space where you distance your um energetic um connection to the situation that is not serving you in a positive way um, and then four you move into 
piece. So one, two, heart, three, sa, four piece. Okay, where you surrender over to the universe, that higher, greater part of you. Okay, um, I think something that a lot of times we don't understand is that when you say that you've released or surrendered to your higher self or the universe or whatever it may be, it's like um, giving permission to sort of like your higher counsel, the, the expanded version of you um, to help you in a situation, align you with situations that you may not know of. And that expanded version of you is also seeing you as an expanded version because you are the fractal of light that incarnated into human form okay so expanded expanded okay infinity expanded expanded okay and now i look like somebody is doing a music video <laughs> all right so in the recent past what brings you to this energy i've got the three of wands um the seven of wands and the four of pentacles Okay, and then going forward, and I love this so much, there is the Ace of Wands, so where's this energy taking you? And I saw another time, said 11, 11, new starts, new beginnings, okay? So, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, and Knight of Cups. So, it's, you know, I feel like you are aligning more with, um, almost like with like faith, with like that higher part of you, as we were saying, but also... Um, it's like you've got a, some of you may have been a little bit sort of like, you know, drifty through life, you know, or um, trying to make the best of a situation. Um, and I feel that your personal view on life directly influences your experience of love. Okay, that is why we're getting so much of your life coming out. It relates to your love. Because what we don't get sometimes, you know, sometimes people will say to me, I want to know, is my boyfriend cheating? I want to know if my girlfriend is cheating. But what we don't understand is that it all forms one big energy pattern. Okay? And what I focus on is, um, first of all, if you know that someone's cheating, why are you prepared to be with that person? You know, or... Also, secondly, because it doesn't actually mean, I'm not saying that you must just cut people off. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. But um, it's when we, when, we, when we sort our own energy out, okay, in whichever form, that is when the situation gets sorted out as well. Okay. All right. So you got it there with the three of ones. I feel that I'm um, you, that for many of you, you... You sort of looked at your life, and this could be whether you're single or in a relationship, and you you became more clear about what it is that you want to have, okay? Like a lot of times when people speak about manifestation, or when I speak to people about manifesting, and they say like, I want this in my life, and I want that in my life, you know, so like, say they want a car. So, like, so what car do you want? A nice car, okay? Um, what make? What model? What, like, like, what do you want? No, just something comfy, okay? What brand? What color? What are the seats looking like? You know, will this be this car be driving on fuel or will it be driving on diesel? Um, will it be a stick or an automatic? Um, do you currently have a garage space? If you do have a garage, is the garage filled with a lot of stuff? I mean, where's the car going to stand? You know, do you have to be specific? Now, I feel that many of you went into that specific space about your heart, about your experience of life that you want to have, about your experience of love that you want to have. Now, when we do that sometimes and we open ourselves to universal support, it's like a whole lot of problems come up. But the universe is showing us what are the things that, the, the, like, this is where you are, and this is where you want to be, but this is where you are. These are the things in between that you need to get you know, work through, um, kind of like, you know, flatten the curve to be able to get from where you are to where you want to go, okay? You can't say that you want to be in a beautiful, monogamous, whatever sort of relationship, um, but in the same token, you're still fantasizing about if I go to Paris, you know, I can do this, and if I can do that, I can do, you know, no, 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 you have to decide, okay? Because it's when we pick and we commit 
that the universe gives us. Now, I feel that a lot of you have done that. Um, a lot of you accept it in your heart, what it is that you want to have. A lot of you actually came to the realization what it is that we're in your current situation here with the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups, what it is that is like sort of blocking your, um, you know, your experience of life, which is amazing. And you're going forward and you, you get into the space. I feel some of you sort of distance yourself a little bit from the rest of the world, you know. Um, even if you're in a company, you, you sort of distance yourself from the rest of the world there to get some clarity about what's happening. And going forward, you're going to the power where you realize that you are the one that is drawing to yourself what it is that you want to have. And from this beautiful point, you, you're finishing off here with the Knight of Cups, which personally for me is a card that always speaks about so much positivity, so much love, so much light. I love the Knight of Cups. For me, it's a card that says to me, it's happening. Okay? It's happening. So, let's just draw for you um, clarifiers. So, we're starting there with the Three of Wands, the situation that you looked at. So, um, let me just pick this up. So, this is the card that we're initially looking at. And look what is the first card that's coming out of The first clarifier, the lover. Okay. So, it's coming together for you. It's definitely, definitely coming together. And you know what, right? When you look at this, whether you are Leo, whether you're not the Leo, you know, if you say that, listen, I'm open to this beautiful soulmate twin flame love situation coming together, problem sorting out, you know, if you, if that is for you, then claim that inside your heart. Then you say, yes, this is for me. Okay. Because the next two clarifying cards we have there is the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So you became clear about what it is that you want and you became very clear about what it is that is standing in the way of what it is that you want. Okay. And this is how sometimes people make these big life altering sort of decisions. And you're like, where did that come from? They're like, I, I just knew I had to do it. Now, I feel that you guys had that sort of space where you just knew what you had to do. And I mean, at the end of the day, our decisions doesn't have to make sense to anybody except for ourselves because it is our lives. Okay. Let's clarify the seven of ones and the four of pentacles in the, in the recent past. You confronted a situation, you confronted something, and I feel it might have been one of the most difficult things that it ever needs to do. You might have also needed to maybe sacrifice some of your personal, you know, um, how would I put this, almost like pride, but not in the negative sense of the word, but you may have had to go to avenues that, you know, ordinarily you would rather not go to, that kind of make you a little bit uncomfortable, make you maybe very uncomfortable, okay? Um, I feel that some of you reached out, you were asking for help, And it's actually making you very attractive because you're coming from that hard space more than you might have come from it before. And that actually makes you very, very, very attractive, you know, because imagine, because remember Leo's got a very powerful energy by default because um, you are ruled by the sun, which is all bold and all bright. Now imagine if the sun, you know, that is all bold and all bright and all beautiful and it's all about sustaining life. Um, because the sun kind of runs the show. If it's not for the sun, the rest of the planets is not going to work out, you know. Um, when the sun comes and says, you know what, I would appreciate a bit of, um, you know, feedback over here. Um, and the sun maybe puts in an effort to make a closer connection with you, with life, with itself, showing you its heart. Can you even imagine? Okay. So, I love this. I, I love this so much. A beautiful balance is coming about. So the seven of pentacles, sorry, the seven of cups and the moon along with the queen of cups are your clarifiers. So first of all, you're getting to see a situation. I feel that some of you may have kind of let things roll over sometimes just to maintain the peace, you know, don't want to fight, that sort of thing. Don't want to be misunderstood. I feel that some of you are prepared to be misunderstood to get what you want to have. And your relationship with your emotions, it is so beautifully healing there. The sun and the moon, okay? The beautiful, um, uh, really when you think about it, heavenly relationship between the divine male and the divine feminine that relationship is coming together and it is it's bringing you everything it's bringing you the calm the peace and the beauty along with the divinity i do sense some big life changes happening for you then in the current situation this ace of swords and the king of cups 
some of you decided what you need to do. You may have let some people go. You may have let some situations go. You may have let some mindsets go um, to get what it is that you want to have. You kind of made up your mind and you said, you know what, this is who I am and this is who I'm not. This is who I choose to be and this is who I don't choose to be. And that, that really changed a lot of things for you. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Clarify. Ten of swords. Six of wands and the magician beautiful so yeah you have but you're also in the process of letting go of many things that are not serving you in a positive way situations um and i feel this is more parts about yourself as opposed to maybe so much other people um and it's bringing you more and more and more into beautiful balance into shine into infinity into things just working out for you um it's bringing you so much it's bringing you so beautifully much it's absolutely absolutely amazing okay and look at that it brings you unlimited choice things are starting to work out for you and that is the wonderful thing that I was that I was talking about earlier on as you align with those emotions of yours. Um, it it unfolds in all ways of your life because if you look at these cards as they're laying in front of me at the moment. Okay, so these are the cards that I was originally dealing and these are the clarified. So look at that. King of Cups. So the situations, life is still happening. Whatever's happening in life is still happening. But you are on this powerful platform yourself there because you are willing to look in sort of like those dark sides of ourselves that sometimes we as human beings we don't want to look at. So you're looking at those and that unlocks more and more magic because as you realize what isn't working and you work through those things, you actually put yourself into a situations where, you know, um, life gives you more because with inner healing with inner child healing comes um beautiful beautiful rewards it's not always the easiest thing in the world <laughs> but you know it, it it gives you a lot it gives you a lot okay there's beautiful new possibilities here for you okay so the ace of wands in your situation going forward is clarified by the page of wands the king of swords and the knight of wands be careful not to be too hard on yourself you know okay so something beautiful coming through there some divine intervention coming through there for you um so i feel for you at the moment leo even though this reading is about love this is more about self-love this is more about you Okay, and again, there the time the reading goes 22, 22, which is about beautiful new things unfolding, things coming together. So for many of you, um, it's it's like you're getting to this point where you realize that the problem could have been you all along. <laughs> okay, well, not entirely you, but you realize your contribution to it, um, and what it is that you need to do. Okay, you might be looking at things from a different angle. Okay. And that just brings you more and more and more. It, it makes you very attractive. I'm going to say that again. It makes you very attractive. Okay. With this four of swords. And it's almost like with this inner work that you are doing, you're becoming more Leo. You know, um, whereas sometimes you would, you know, we would sometimes feel that we, if you go into the space where it's almost like... You don't want to humble yourself, but it's, it's got nothing to do with ego or arrogance or vanity. But, you know, you you like to maintain a certain stance of life. But um, it's as you are willing to sort of be wrong. The things are actually working out for you better and better and more and more and more and more beautiful. Okay, So let's look at this Four of Swords and this Knight of Cups here in your going forward. Because you are expanding you are growing you are extending look ah oh, wow look at this wow 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 new starts new beginnings peace being made and a lot of people i feel that a lot of people that may have done you wrong be it in love be it in life kind of comes back and they apologize which i think is such a beautiful thing okay maybe they have their own inner demons to work with but don't don't commit to that okay the chariot the knight of swords and the three of pentacles I keep on getting new beginnings all the way. You know, you're getting this beautiful balance between the emotions and between the logic you go forward, but you know who to go forward to. I see very sudden marriages taking place here, okay, where you go like, I want to be with her. I want to be with him. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, surrendering to the journey. Release control, okay? Isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful thing. 
and I want to see where the journey goes forward for you Leo so if you're interested in walking the journey with me you know you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel let's see what happens together um, if the reading resonates with you give me a like give me a comment let me know what's going on I love to um, connect with you follow me on Facebook follow me on Instagram and let's see where this beautiful journey of life is going for you all right thanks so much one love and respect namaste love and light